हे गाइस गुड इवनिंग व्हाट्सअप कैसे हैं आप लोग सो लेट्स डिस्कस टूडेज मार्केट एक्शन व्हाट हैपेंड इन टूडेज सेशन इन निफ्टी एंड देन ट्राई टू मेक अ ट्रेडिंग प्लान फॉर टुमारो सो टुडे वाज एन इंटरेस्टिंग डे इन मार्केट्स फॉर कपल ऑफ रीजंस फर्स्ट दैट माय लेवल्स व्हिच आई हैड गिवन येस्टरडे दे वर्क ब्यूटीफुली however uh, my personal bias stopped me from uh, making profits based on my own research and my own levels so this is a learning that goes and and uh, it's a it's a fact that you know many times you your analysis your levels they are right but you actually don't make money out of it if if there are honest people on social media ask them that has it happened to them or not most of them will deny but honesty is the best policy you know so i am accepting that today uh, that thing happened because i document everything almost on real time basis and i upload uh, on facebook and all so yesterday uh, what was the mob level that i had given mob level yesterday given was 11366 if you recall or if you go back and watch the video mob level yesterday it was 11366 now i i had also said that uh, you know that market will try to take resistance market will basically go up try to take resistance around here and then it should go down okay or probably it can scratch towards the 11400 mark and then fail to sustain and then it it should go down now this was my personal bias okay i had clearly stated that uh, this is my personal bias and you need not look, you need you, you should not follow my personal bias rather you go with the levels that i am giving so what was the upside level upside levels were 11390 and 11430 and the entry point because market was sustaining above the mob level for almost half an hour or so so you could have taken those who were not uh, influenced by my, my bias i'm saying for them okay so you could have taken the long entry and you could have made very good profits okay i in fact made loss because i uh, i was biased for the downside and uh, i took a short somewhere 385 somewhere here and uh, then the stop loss was hit okay so nevertheless it happens uh, and uh, out of 10 cases uh, you know seven times i'll be right and then i'll get a move like this okay so that happened on last friday if you remember i captured the this uh, sharp decline right so 200 points in less than an hour so okay so uh, now the second good thing uh, or rather the uh, uh, you know slightly confusing thing which has happened in today's session is that uh, uh, you know uh, you see this candle today's candle if you see if you see uh, this candle this is a very peculiar candle why because this has three times body size of the previous three candles right but range is smaller than last two candles volume is is lowest than preceding two two days right so you know three times the increase in body size with lowest volume okay what does it mean this means that this is a no demand bar and where is it forming it is forming at the resistance level this was the previous breakdown area and now we are retesting that breakdown levels right so those who have followed me for long those who have seen my post for like couple of years you might know that whenever i see a no demand bar on nifty or bank nifty or uh, crude oil or gold or silver i always warrant a portion for longs or for shorts whichever side it might form so in this case since it is forming on the upside longs have to be very alert you know why because 
you know these kind of markets it is very easy uh, you know to become bullish exactly at the wrong level and it is easy to become bearish exactly at the wrong uh, side or wrong level okay so uh you should uh, be very alert and uh, big boys they always uh, wait for some kind of a negative trigger to you know uh, to make a fall in markets okay so that's the development which we have on price action front uh, as per open interest also we have good amount of writing at 11500 and 11300 so uh basically uh you know that is my range for tomorrow so for tomorrow what i am looking at is mob level at 11475 so uh what i am expecting is uh okay now one more thing is there we uh, if we see closely last five days action or uh, you know yeah if if i if i include tomorrow's action also it is most likely going to be this rising wedge pattern okay now this rising wedge pattern heading into a turbulence area is always uh, you know risky for the long side traders okay plus diminishing volumes we should not forget that the volumes are diminishing if you see on the weekly chart all right it is constantly uh, on the uh, lower side the volumes are on the lower side okay so uh if you see here uh when this up move came uh it lasted for 4 to 5 weeks but if you notice the volumes were again on the declining side so volumes have to be kept in mind uh because uh you know there's a good amount of chance that in next couple of days we might see a big fall a sudden and a big fall okay now if there is another big candle which is closing above this level of say 11500 with a break breakout in volume okay then we have to be uh, then uh, we have to wait and see whether it is continuing or it is not continuing because that might change the scenario again so we have to be alert as traders okay and now coming to the uh, uh you know plan for tomorrow my plan for tomorrow is that uh, the mob level uh mob level is 11475 so i'm uh, keeping mob level for tomorrow as uh 11000 this level 11475 okay now this is the mob level uh and if it trades above this level then i will look to book longs at 11500 and 11550 on the futures okay 11550 on the on the futures so the mob level is 11475 expected range for tomorrow i am expecting a candle like this okay the candlestick pattern will differ because depending on where we open and close etc but i am expecting a candle like this okay a bar like this so i am expecting tomorrow's range to be greater than today's range and i am expecting a 200 point range in nifty tomorrow so the upside around 11500 downside 11300 that's 200 points on nifty all right so upside about mob mob level if it sustains 11500 11550 now if it breaks or if it doesn't sustain on the mob level then i'm looking for a retest of 11430 which is very close to the today's vwap closing vwap and then 11390 so somewhere around here so i'll be looking for a down move like this if 11475 is holding up okay then a downside can be seen till 11390 now this is nothing but that same rising trend line the lower side of the rising wedge which i just showed okay so uh, basically we will be trading in this wedge wherein it should look like this it might look something 
something like this okay so that's the trading plan for tomorrow uh, and i'm expecting a bigger range on nifty uh, for tomorrow's uh, session and uh, the levels i have mentioned levels i will put down in the description box as well okay so tomorrow the first target on downside should be 11390 uh, but if it sustains below 11390 Okay. First of all, I think if if three ninety is seen, there is a very fair chance that we will directly go and fill up this gap. Okay. So that might happen. Uh, and keep uh, do note the mob level, which is eleven thousand four seventy five. Sustaining above that, we should easily see eleven thousand five hundred at least for a probe purpose. That is a touch and go kind of a move. All right. So that's all. Uh, for today and that's all about the trading plan for tomorrow i hope you would uh, like the video and share it uh, and please subscribe to the youtube channel and i'll be back tomorrow uh, and tomorrow most probably i'll make an intraday video live during live markets all right so thank you so much for your time and see you guys tomorrow take care good night bye bye